Hi folks, second part of the APC mapped with Logic Pro. Now, if you look right here on my screen, before on the first part I had at least eight tracks um, assigned with eight faders. Now I've taken it up to all the way to 16. So we've got 16 tracks all together. So on the first part we mapped only eight. We mapped up our master to always control the outputs, both outputs there, the output itself and the master output. So that's still a sign there. But if you look this time around, when I move fader one, okay, it's moving assignment fader one, two, three, four, and so forth. And on here, on the controller assignments, it's on fader one. Now I created a fader two bank and I've decided to assign eight more faders which is for that extra eight more tracks that I've added to make 16 so if we have a look at that one there it's shown here it's favor bank and favor bank number nine and so so forth going onwards so all I've basically done is what I've done in the first part I've done the sim I've just repeated the process with the eight other tracks but I've put it in a bank a uh, bank fader two so when I move the fader one, if we go here, it's controlling not fader selected section one, but two. If I move second one, it goes on and on and on to the rest. So now all of these favors, I just repeated the process and I've added it for extra tracks, uh, 16 tracks there. So that's all done there. I'll, I'll come back to this, but uh, in this part, we're just going to look at more advanced controls. So I'm going to take off that main control assignments there off. I'm also going to take off the mixer and just leave there with our 16 tracks. What we're going to be focusing on in this part is your transport control mapping these out. At the moment, if I press the play button, nothing moves, nothing is playing, nothing is stopping, nothing is assigned. So in order to assign more of a global control, you would go back into preferences and instead of going to control assignments right there what we're going to do is go to key commands so clicking on key commands will bring this window up now in this window these are every it has all controls all shortcuts that are available within logic itself so we've got ones that are used, ones that are not unused. So we're going to do all. I'll just demonstrate the global commands. Now this is what you have on the global commands. You've got record and so forth. There's a, there's a heck of a lot. Uh, let me just focus on that. There's a lot of control. So all of these here that you see, they can all be, in, be assigned with whatever controller you have to do whatever it is that you want to make your life a lot easier. So first off, I'm going to just expand all of that so you could see exactly how much we're talking about. There's a heck of a lot of controls, literally, from controlling the notes to controlling the velocity, you name it. Whatever you want to control, it's all in here. Um, but let me just go back and collapse all of that and only bring out the global control so we've got global control let's look at the record here on the other end we've got no keys assigned and no sort of there's no keys for it and no assignments so keys would be like here for example your keyboard shortcut keys on your keyboard that you will have in order to activate um, the uh, command right there for pause so you've got press down command and then you've got the button there to press so you'll press command and so forth now what you would do we want to assign our play button so we would look in the global commands look for play there is play go to the other side there's nothing assigned and we come right down here it's the same process learn your assignment you can see a little message right there so in this area, we could assign multiple MIDI messages 
to that one control there so I could just I could have the play button on here play button on the MPD play button anywhere else to be assigned so it's not only focused on one control so all you need to do is click learn your assignment it's waiting for you to press a particular parameter on your controller I'm going to press the play on my PC and right here it's read the MIDI note and it's assigned the play button now once that's done give it a few seconds automatically it will come off instead of being great will come off and be highlighted there and if we go up here we see logic is playing so that's the play button there every time I press it it keeps resetting itself back to play now we're going to assign the stop button. Stop button here doesn't work, nothing is stopping, it just keeps playing. So the same process again, we go into that main control, we go to stop. Yes, we've got one form of assignment, but we're going to assign it to our controller. We click on learn new, we go to stop, we press the stop button, and if we go up here, we could see it stops. I'm going to press play, press stop, play, stop, stop again so the stop button works we want to assign the record return button record button doesn't do nothing so we'll go up here we want to go to record so you've got various record option let's do record toggle so that way you know this one there so that way we're able to by pressing the record twice or you know in and out we took we could basically record take the record off so we've anything to toggle that's what it basically does so we're going to do the same process click assignment it's waiting we're going to press our record so our record right here has been assigned there we go now if I was to press it here if you look at it right there it's been recorded press it again record comes off press record on off on off right down here on off record button so that's been record your mini overdub is up to you you could put that to say a loop or cycle loop um, so let me just go right there and see what I want to assign it to go to locator left and right yeah I like this one go to locator left and right let's let's assign that one new on our APC we've got left and right I'm gonna press the left button that's going to read that wait for that yep that's in the sign let me go to the right one and let me assign that one as well assign and go to the right wait for that to finish there we go now if I press stop here and then I do my left and right if you look at the locator the locator is moving left and right like so and then you could do the same for your up and down so let's go back on here and uh, cycle do, 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 do. just cycle just bear with me I'm just gonna cycle uh, as you can see there's a lot a lot of controls there there's solo mode cycle mode okay cycle mode here I go to new assign it's waiting I want you to be my cycle mode I've pressed that that's all done pressing it again just to demonstrate to you cycle mode is on so I guess you pretty much get the picture all you need to do is select what you want you know you've got your solo mode solo all click on the learn press the parameter and set that up so that's how you would set all the functions of the transport it, it pretty much it's the same here for the solo but I will demonstrate this to you because it it can be a little complicated I will do this in part three I guess but in this one that's how you would set your um transport control I mean up down I want up down to be for my tracks say for example I want the tracks to be up down so let me scroll through as quick as I possibly can through some of the many options there we go previous track I've selected previous track same process here let's learn that 
I'm going to do a previous track will be up. Come back down here, it's learnt it. Let's go to the next track. Uh, click on that learn. Next track is going to be down. I'll leave this here. This will be mode change to change, whatever. So if we go back up here, we look at here. I'm going to press up and down. And if you look up here, up and down. Up and down. So there we go, we've got our transport completely set. We've got left and right indicator, we've got up and down. We've got the cycle repeat mode, stop play, the whole works. That one I'm going to leave. So in the next part three, I'm going to make more use of the rest of the control and look at uh, the rest of the particular control. So again, bear with me, I am busy. I will try and get these up as um, fast as I possibly can. But at the same time, it gives you enough time to practice. But give me a thumbs up if this video has been helpful either way. Cheers.